Hey guys, welcome back. If you've been following along, we've uh, installed Windows XP, we've installed Windows Server 2003, and we've set up Active Directory and DNS on Windows Server 2003. So now I'm going to show you a quick video on like the organizational unit structure of Active Directory, which is probably the starting point in pretty much mapping out your domain so let's get started here so you want to go to start and administrative tools active directory users and computers so here you're gonna see uh, a sample domain that I've set up I will explain how I've why I've set them up the way I have but I just wanted to show you that here is our main domain name right here so technology.net if you remember from the previous videos that's what I named our domain so you want to expand this and here's my list of OU's that I've created some of them are default like computers is default uh, foreign security policies default users is default anything with just a clear folder was default okay these are built-in. These are all your built-in groups. We'll get into groups later. So I just want to show you the organizational units and why I've structured them this way. So for this tutorial, I'm going to pretend that we have two companies. Like, we're the holders of two companies. You know, one's in one part of the world, the other's in the other part of the world, or the country, or whatever it may be. So here's our company headquarters. So this is like you know our main branch okay so inside company headquarters you can expand it <clears throat> and you're gonna see some other OU's that I've created inside this OU so we got the account team we got the IT team we got the marketing and payroll all in our main headquarters and inside each of these you can set up you know, you got management for accounting and, you know, the supervisors. You're not really just going to have normal employees as in accounting. So you got just the supervisors of the accounting and then you got your management that, you know, manage the whole department. And here in information technology, you got your employees. You know, there could be a few employees and you got your management, you know, that just kind of dictate how things are going to be done. Because in this test domain that I've created it's on the lines of like a technology uh, company alright so you got marketing so you know people got to sell your stuff so this is where you got all your agents you know selling your products and trying to get people to buy your stuff and then you got your management of the agents or sorry of the supervisors and you got your supervisors that watch the agents and then you get your good old payroll you know that pays everybody here again you probably wouldn't have just normal employees you could probably change this to whatever you like you just change everything to whatever you like however it fits your needs okay and now I have another company in another part of the country so other city company headquarters like again you can name these whatever you like that fits your needs and here we got management of the other city and then you got your network monitoring and program testing. So here's pretty much where I guess more of the stuff gets created. So in network monitoring, I got security and data prevention. You know, as so you can add users in here that just, you know, take control like backups and make sure everything stays there. You know, there wouldn't be much people in this group. And then same with your security, you kind of watch the whole domain, keep track of everything, make sure no one's hacking in us. Then you got your program testers, you got your programmers and your testers, you know. Like I said, however you want to name these, go right ahead. Man, you got your workstations. So I got my servers here. Again, you can add servers, you know, OU. So you know your web server OU. You know, so you just create an OU web server. Okay, so now you can put whatever you need to in here with regards to your web server, you know, whether it's group policies or whatnot. 
And here I just made a former employees group, or OU, you know, people quit, a lot of agents, so you just drop them into here. Now, I'm going to show you how to make an OU. <coughs> very easy pretty much just did on the server side of things but I just want to show you like you can't have the same name in the same OU okay but you can have that same name in different OUs so like in tech knowledge I could not make another users OU because it's here uh, in company I could not make another accounting OU uh, you know same with here like that's why I have management in each one okay because they're in different OU groups I'm gonna say that that okay so just be careful on that and other than that you just simply right click on wherever your organizational unit or OU needs to be put and you just go down to new and just go to organizational unit and for these it's just a name so you just name it okay so I made a test OU here now if you wanted to add OU's to this you just click on this OU and go to new and organizational unit alright so my next video I'm gonna show you how to uh, add users into these OU's and set those up and probably in the same video I'm going to show you how to join a computer to the domain alright guys thanks for watching